Hey, this is the Fight Nerd at the Extreme Couture Mixed Martial Arts Training Center here with Quentin Chung, who is the head trainer here for the Thai Boxing. Quentin, good to have you here. Thank you. It's good to be here. So what is your background in fighting? Well, I come from a Kung Fu background when I was younger. Um, I've been doing Muay Thai. I've won the Muay Thai ch World Champs twice. Um, so I'm WMC World Champion. Um, now I run Muay Thai for the government, Assistant King of Thailand, for the WMC and IFMA of Thailand, for South Africa. So uh, you weren't born in America. Where were you born in? I was born in actually in Botswana, in Africa. And then I came from Hong Kong, age of seven, to, to South Africa, and I've been there for 29 years. What got you involved in Muay Thai and kickboxing? Um, well, my cousin was a student on the plane. So when he came down, he used to always show us, you know, the elbows and the low kicks. And that's how we started, yeah. Uh, what titles have you held in Muay Thai and kickboxing? Uh, well, Muay Thai, two times World Muay Thai Champion, WMC. Okay. Yeah. So how did you get connected with Randy Couture here at the Extreme Couture Training Center? Um, well, Randy did a movie, um, The Scorpion King 2, and um, Kim was out there, and then she was looking for a place to train, and they all mentioned me, and she came to have a session with me, and then she got hooked. <laughs> and then she invited me for a first fight, so they flew me up last year, and now I'm back here again. So what are some of the techniques that you show these pro fighters? Well, um, it's, I mean, you know, the Muay Thai and kickboxing is different. You know, it's, it's like each art is, is not better. Um, in the Muay Thai, we, we're trying to use the eight limbs. So it's not just a punch, punch. When you, you use the, 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 if you don't have the arm, the hand, you use the elbow. You don't have the waist, use the knee or the kick, you know. So I try to show them different balances to try to make them better in positioning so they can be feel more comfortable. They might not use it, but they can move quicker. If someone else knows how to do the Muay Thai, they don't have to be scared, they can learn to also counter it. So it's very important. Okay, you said you have a few of your own schools also. Where are those schools located? Um, I've got a gym called Dragon Power in South Africa the last 16 years. and We have about two and a half to 3,000 students in one gym. So we've just redone it now in the center of town, so we're gonna try and roll it off with, also with clothing range and stuff, yeah. Comic so, book. Oh. <laughs> It's a huge gym there. Yeah, yeah, it's quite, uh, probably I think it's the biggest Muay Thai gym in the world under one roof. And 60% um, are ladies, so it's a good lifestyle. What's the fight world like over there? Well, I mean, it's, it's like certain countries like that that um, everybody thinks they can fight. But of course, you know, it's, it's, it's starting getting quite big. I mean, we do all the promotions for the Muay Thai and also for the MMA we're starting now. I just got the show for, from Mark Burnett, the Muay Thai contender last year, which we filled out Amusement Park, 4,000 people. And one of my boys won it, so he's going to contend in his season house too in Asia, which has got 40 million views, viewers in the first week. So it's all good. Definitely. Okay, now I noticed uh, you got a ton of tattoos in your body, or as Scott Farrell would say, you're laced with tats. <laughs> so how do these tattoos get all over you? What are they all about? Um, well, I, I, I trained the... the I used to run the clubs in Cape Town before, for some of the clubs, and um, I used to look after all the kids and the guys on the streets, give them food, just watch nobody beats them up for the wrong reason, and they call me the Dragon, so my nickname is Quentin the Dragon Chong. And um, oh, this symbolizes the dragon. Um, this one means Long Kun, dragon power, but the power in Chinese means the inner power, not the fighting power. Because we used to do all the, you know, the, all the internal fighting. So now, of course, doing the Muay Thai, sort of the external, balances out. Um, so this is all got to do with the street kids. And um, dragon means symbol of um, hidden powers. Um, it's like anything as good as what you make it. If somebody's down and out, you give me a penny, and I believe in it, it happens, you know. And it's mythical. And um, like I said, in life, you've got to take chances and, and be blessed. And I've got a full dragon down my leg and all my parents' names, family. So for me, I do it for myself, not because it's cool, because it looks gangster or anything, you know. Um, like I said, with the arts, it's kept me out of trouble. It's kept me to understand. And yeah, we should be happy having our limbs and everything and sharing the art. Now, who here at Extreme Couture have, that you've trained, have you seen improve the most in their Thai boxing skills? Funny, I, I, had a, I did the pro class yesterday, and I would think it was Frank, um, Frank Trigg. When we did the class, he's never done that sort of style of training, and I was quite surprised, because as a fighter, you've got to be all-rounded, not being rude. And um, 
They do like kickboxing, Thai boxing, where we do the Muay Thai. It's, it's, it's each different. You're doing whole body. You learn to get like the grappling on the floor, the wrestling. And he was battling, and, but he wanted to learn. And after class, geez, I couldn't believe it. He was getting his hands inside. He was, he was understanding the distance. And also with Robert Drysdale, he was keen. No, they were all happy. And also with Josh Haynes and a couple of the guys, Elena, and of course I trained Kim Cotier. No, it's been good. It's been good response. All right, that's good here. Thank you very much, Quentin. Thank you very much. This video is brought to you by Hoodlum Fight Gear. Check out their gear and apparel at hoodlumfightgear.com.